Well, how's it going, everybody, and welcome to the beginning of the end. I think I said that before, but this is literally like the beginning of the end. We have two more things to do in Let's Play Fallout 3. Complete the final quest of the main story, and then complete the Broken Steel DLC, which you can't do until you complete the final quest of the main story. Let us take a look at our quest. Take it back! Prepare for battle and then report to Sarah Lyons. I think we're pretty damn prepared. We've completed every other DLC. We've completed every side quest in the game. We've completed all of the main story quests up until this last and final one. And uh, I'd say we're pretty damn prepared. Just to show you guys what we're going to be taking into the final battle. I have the backwater rifle. The double barreled shotgun, the fat man, the Gauss rifle. We'll have to use the fat man. I don't even think we've used one shot this whole Let's Play. I, I just don't usually do it, but we'll have to use that. Gauss rifle, infiltrator, Jingwei shock sword, and the reservist rifle. As far as apparel, we got advanced radiation suit, which I'm not wearing just for uh, emergencies. Chinese stealth armor, of course, and our shady hat. I never expected to take this into late game, but hey. Uh, alien epoxy, all that good stuff. But of course, we can't end the main quest without our friend here, Fox. Something troubling you, my friend? It is actually. Care to join me, Fox? I would appreciate your assistance. I owe you no less than my life. How could I refuse? That's the spirit, buddy. All right, let's go to the citadel. Um, yeah, I'm not just taking Fox for cinematic effect. I'm taking him also because. This stuff's about to get really hard, especially broken uh, steel. I think broken steel is like the hardest part of the entire game. It might be, I'm not sure. But anyways, let's go ahead and meet Sarah Lyons at the Citadel. And if you guys completely forgot what's going on with the main quest, basically we're trying to uh, take the Jefferson Memorial back from the Enclave so that we can get the purifier up and running and make purified water for the entire wasteland. How's it going, boys? Just passing through with my big super mutant friend here. Don't shoot him. He's got a Gatling laser, if you didn't notice. And he's also got uh, what looks like vault. Yeah, like a vault suit on. I mean, I've noticed that, but I didn't really like notice it, notice it until right now. I don't think any other super mutants have those. Anyways, here we are back in the Citadel, uh, which is the base for all of the... Um, the Brotherhood of Steel members, obviously. Here's the training grounds. Looks like we need to head to Ring B, I want to say. Is it Ring B? Oh, no, it's the Liberatory, right, where uh, Liberty Prime is located. The giant robot that, of course, we wouldn't be able to use, right? I mean, he's not ready. How can we use a robot that's not ready? There's no way to know what he's going to do. Down we go. Okay, so they were, <laughs> if you guys remember, the last time we were doing the main quest, that's where they all were. It looks like they have an extreme amount of patience, because they're all in the same exact spots they were before. Are you ready now? We can't afford to keep standing around like this. I'm all ready. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. I agree. And don't let that thing step on you. I will try, Sarah Lyons. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly, before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! Liberty Prime is online. All systems nominal. Weapons locked. Mission, the destruction of any and all Chinese communists. Alrighty, we've regained control of our character. We need to follow Liberty Prime as he makes his way to the Purifier. Uh, looks like it's telling us to follow Sarah Lyons. However, we're going to go ahead and just exit the Citadel. And hopefully get a read on where this giant robot is going to be moving. I think we should be able to do this considering that we have uh, freaking Optimus Prime on our side. 
Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah, Optimus Prime and Liberty Prime. Okay. So we need to go ahead and make our way over to where he is. Um, I never noticed that crane before either. Okay, where's the damn entrance to this place? For some reason, I am not seeing where we came in from. Oh yeah, it's got to be this, this this set of double doors back here, right? Should be. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the Capital Wasteland. Yes, that's where we want to go. All right. So yeah. Just to recap, the Enclave. They got a hold of the Jefferson Memorial, which is where me, well, not me, but my dad and the science team from Rivet City worked on to produce a purifier. The Enclave wants it to eradicate all mutations by planting a modified version of the FEV virus, the forced evolutionary virus, and we don't really want that. At least this character doesn't, Jack doesn't, because that's sort of uh, genocide, and we're not about that. That's some sweet lasers you got. Let's go ahead and move forward. What does this go? Entrance to Taft Tunnel, right, so that's where we exited way back when. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and follow Liberty Prime as he makes his way over to the Jefferson Memorial, which shouldn't be too far. I, I don't remember this being like a super long walk. We have Fox just chilling behind us. Everything in my headphones is going super duper loud. I can hardly hear myself talk, but I'll do my best to commentate. Jesus Christ! Alright. What weapon do we want to use? I said we were gonna use the Fat Man, so why don't we make use of at least one shot of that? Hopefully my game doesn't freeze. Okay, there's a dead brotherhood of steel. Oh, he had 23 rounds of uh, sniper ammo. That's cool. And also a uh, hollow tag. Alright, so you need Liberty Prime because he'll destroy these little barriers here. Probability of mission entrance. Zero percent. And he also obviously destroys all of the vertebrates and everything. What in the world is that? Oh, I thought it was like some sort of sword. I was like, what the hell? Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, he also throws like a big-ass grenade. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, tricks up his robotic sleeves. I want to shoot this fat man, but he's not really giving me a chance to. He's destroying everything in his wake. Ow! My, both of my arms just got crippled. How did that happen? Let's go ahead and heal that really quickly. One, two, and one, two. And also a stim pack for good time. Screw it, let's just fire a uh, fat man off in the distance there. Oh, are you kidding me? You can barely see it because of the missiles. What's even firing missiles at me? Oh, vertebrates. Makes sense. Looks like they have mortars too. Yeah. Ow, okay. Maybe we should hang a little bit back. We're getting hit by a lot of these damn missiles. And another one of my arms crippled. One, two, three. Good. And let's also put away this fat man until we can actually use it. I don't want to blow up Liberty Prime. Although I don't think Liberty Prime can die once he's on his warpath. I think he's pretty much indestructible. We can't target him in vats either, so. Although, can we target allies in vats? Yeah, we can. Just one of those things I forgot momentarily. Communist target acquired. And I think we should be able to loot some stuff back here, too. No? Okay, I was hoping for some of those Enclave crates. Yeah, so I kind of forgot how you literally... <laughs> you just need to walk behind them. I mean, you don't really have a chance to fire any rounds off or anything. Pretty much takes care of everything. And, I mean, we could hang back all the way back there and not take any damage at all. But I kind of want to show you guys Communism all the action. Where are we in uh, relation to... The Jefferson Memorial. Does it give us a quest marker? No, but it should be like somewhere. I forget exactly where it is. Rivet City is there, so it should be somewhere over here. I don't know. Let's see if we can kill that guy. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, this is gonna be impossible. Trying to help you, Liberty Prime, but I'm not really having any opportunity to do so. I'm sorry. But it looks like you're doing okay. You also notice he's got, like, uh, a couple of little, like, bombs on his back there, I think. Oh, those are the grenades, I think, that he throws. Quote, grenades, unquote. Alright, what's going on here? They're firing mortars over that building, it looks like. 
There's a bunch of enclaves peeking out behind cars and stuff. I see you, but I can't get a good shot. The Xbox's frame rate <coughs> isn't that good um, in this type of situation where so much crap is going on. That's hard to get a good shot off. Initiating directive 7395. Destroy all communists. Ow. Okay. Let's heal up a little bit. Okay. Where in the world is the Jefferson Memorial? Alaska Liberation is imminent. Communist okay, this is a perfect opportunity to use the Fat Man, actually. That's not the Fat Man. Let's get out our Fat Man and target these guys in vats. Uh, 18%, that's not good enough. Alright. Yeah, I was kind of scared that it would go behind her in front of the bunker. Damn it! I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying my hardest to get a good fat man shot off, but it's just not happening. Okay. What do you guys have? Heavy incinerator. I guess that's an upgraded version of a normal incinerator. No! I hit Liberty Prime, but at least we verified you cannot kill Liberty Prime. At least with a fat man. Okay, I need to really watch out. Oh, no, I don't. We have a ton of stim packs. We're good. Okay, let's switch back to our sniper rifle. There's the Jefferson Memorial. It is in sight. I'm going to need you to disable that barrier, please. Communism is the very definition of failure. What is that guy? What was that guy thinking right there? I'm gonna walk up to Liberty Prime and what? Punch it? Punch his leg? Nice shot, buddy. All right, go ahead and destroy that barrier for me, please. Composition: titanium alloy supplemented by enhanced photonic resonance barrier. Is that what it's made out of? Interesting. I didn't know you were a scientist. Stratagem: inadequate. Revised stratagem. Initiate photonic resonance overcharge. Uh oh, you okay, buddy? That one wasn't too uh strong for you, was it? We still can't pass it. Oh, now we can. No, he's good. Okay, quest added project impurity. So it looks like we completed the other one. Man, it looks like we're not gonna end this let's play on level thirty. That's a little bit sad. Okay. Reach the Project Purity control room, infect the Project Purity water supply, dot, 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 or not. Okay, into the museum and gift shop once more. And you guys know the drill by now. We need to make our way to the rotunda. And there was a console there that we can use the modified FEV virus, if we so please. I don't, it's not really like a, you know, a bad thing to do. It's just depends on preference. And I don't want to do that because even though there are mutations in the wasteland, some of them like Gob way back at the beginning of um of our let's play when we went to megaton that that's a good guy and see if we put the virus into the water people like that would be killed and so that's not a good thing to do enjoy that shot buddy boy okay We're still only in caution which is good that was the best shot of the year right there oh my god how do you i don't even know how that came out of my weapon okay Oh god, okay. Let's let's switch to the uh, backwater rifle, considering we haven't even used it yet, and we got that in the last episode. Alright. Let's go, guys. Uh, you can have... Actually, you can have all the shots. Because I'm pretty sure I'll kill you, and I'll get the Grim Reaper sprint back. Yeah, so the damage on this is pretty damn nice. The backwater rifle from Point Lookout. And also, it uses 10 millimeter, which is really good, because that's, like, the number one type of ammo that I find. Okay. Alright, so this should lead to the rotunda, I'm assuming. Yep. Let's go ahead and heal, because I don't think it's just going to be a matter of walking in and uh, ending it. Everybody cross your fingers. Maybe it could be. Who knows? Maybe we can end this peacefully. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Okay. Give it up, Autumn. You've lost. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. 
Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. Somehow I doubt that. Raven Rock is gone. Eden checked out. You've got nothing left. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. This isn't the way to do it. More fighting will just make things worse. Then what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? Just walk away. It's not too late. And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. Well, what can I say? That guy was a dick. And so are you. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, thinking about just letting him leave, but then... I don't know. That would be way too anticlimactic, well, I think. That takes care of that. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. All right, you go take care of that. In the meantime, I'm gonna search Colonel Autumn, Colonel Autumn. I've always pronounced it Colonel since I was a kid, so that's why I let that one slip. Uh, Colonel, ah! Colonel Autumn's laser pistol, and Colonel Autumn's uniform. Energy weapons plus five, small guns plus five, as well as some energy cells. Okay. during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagine going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? Okay, so... You can say, I'll do it, I'll start the purifier. You can say, Fox can start the purifier. You can say, there must be some other way. Haha, -ha, no way am I going in there, you do it. Um, so you can basically send Sentinel Lions into your death and she will agree because she is very, uh, heroic. You can send Fox. I think it only gives you that option if you have Broken Steel. I may be incorrect, but I think it usually comes down to you or Sentinel Lions. Um, and just in case it would kill Fox, I know it won't, but I'm gonna be... I'm gonna do what Jack would do and I'm gonna say I'll do it. I'll start the purifier. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. If you're gonna talk, talk! That is not a nice thing to say to a dead man, man. Alright guys, well it's been a pleasure. But, I have one final thing to do. Let's go ahead and put on our advanced radiation suit. Might as well, right? I don't think it's gonna help us out much, but hey. Okay, and notice you can also activate the auxiliary, uh, uh, auxiliary, auxiliary filtration input uh, to put the FEV virus, the modified FEV rice, in there and uh, do what uh, President Eden wanted you to do. Oh, you're not talking to me. Okay. All right. So you have a keypad here. And you have an enter button here. What you need to do is you need to remember way back when to, um, when your father told you about your mother's favorite Bible passage. And you need to input that into, uh, this thing. And I forget it momentarily, so let's go ahead and find it really quickly. There we go, Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. So, two, one, six, enter.
And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. What's going on? It's all right, you're safe now. You're in the Citadel. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. You and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. What about the purifier? Did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the Wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters, and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Ah, uh, so what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. 
The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. But the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Okay. Not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, that ending there, that had my goosebumps rolling and that had me, like, almost choked up. That was, like, I, I usually don't get really emotional at all when it comes to video games, um, but that was as close as it's ever going to get, I think. And to everyone that's like, oh, you're too nice in this Let's Play, you know, you're never going to survive in the wasteland, like, there are a lot of comments like that. That's exactly why I did it, just to hear Ron Perlman say exactly what he said, you know, how great Jack was and all the things that he did, and even though so many vices corrupted so many people and it was so easy to be uncaring and and indifferent you know people like this need to exist so please that's my little speech there all right ladies and gentlemen well, we are going to end this episode here we have completed the main quest now all that remains in this let's play is the broken steel DL dlc and then uh, we will move on to bigger and better things thank you for watching this one ladies and gentlemen my name is grovana and i will see you next time bye bye